town of West Springfield started with gas chlorination, but because of uh, problems in the area caused by a release of gas to the atmosphere in the downtown Springfield, this brought about the reason to look at different means of chlorination. And they looked at a liquid system, and that would require building a lot of money, over a million dollars to put in the system. They came to us and asked us to pilot the calcium hypochlorite system, which is what we did here. One of the great features with calcium hypochlorite versus say like a gas cylinder is transportation. So say you were moving a gas cylinder from one site to another one, you would definitely require a special license to get it there versus our system, you can put a couple pails in the back of a pickup truck and move it, transport it from site to site. The state of Massachusetts uh, got involved because it was a kind of a new process uh, and they required us to pilot 10 days and we did that. We actually ended up running 30 days uh, because it worked so well. They wanted us to continue and get some more data, which we did. The state of Massachusetts was given the data from the pilot work and they in turn approved the Lonza system to be sold in and applied to water treatment in the state of Massachusetts. We are the only system approved in the state of Massachusetts. So the town of West Springfield has two MC4-150 constant chlor feeders running. One is a standby feeder and the other one is in full operation. So they use the standby once they switch over and do like a maintenance cleaning on the other one. They're utilizing an MC4-150, which means you have 150 pounds of chlorine capacity in the hopper. They're probably not utilizing that entire amount in a day, which is great for them because they can they don't have to come and check on the system daily. They have four wells here, and each well comes on and off depending on the need or the requirement. With gas, they had found they had a 20-minute delay of the chlorine residual using this system the Lonza system, they did not see that. So the Constant Chlor Plus system utilizes a spray technology. It starts with the briquette, and the briquette's made in a pillow-shaped form. So when it's in the basket, there's not that many air pockets in between the briquettes. So when you spray that briquette with that spray technology, you get a constant chlorine solution that's developed in the tank and they use that constant chlorine solution to disinfect their water. The system is 24 hours a day, seven days a week and it has to have chlorine going out the door. Having a constant chlorine solution makes sure that you always are injecting the exact amount every single time. That residual then carries through to the, to the tanks that store the water. From the tanks, the water then comes into the homes and the residents, and we constantly fill that tank to keep up with the demand. They utilize carrier water system, which was one of the items that was put in during the trial process. It's great for an application where you're dosing at a far length, which is what they have here. We inject near the feeder, and then that system carries it all the way to the point of injection. After the pilot and the working with the calcium hypochlorite, it was resolved that the system could be placed where the gas chlorination was, into the same room. The feeder itself, from the outside, looks like it's just a like a cookie cut feeder. But in reality, it's a complete engineered solution, everything from what you're gonna be dosing at, if you need a carrier water system. So we provide all that. And if, if they need any special programming or any special communications from their SCADA system to the feeder, we can provide that. As far as maintenance goes for the MC4 feeders, it's more of a cleaning. Um, you're not actually removing or gutting any equipment. You're just going through there and just cleaning out the feeder and getting out whatever buildup that might be in the tank or in the basket. After going through all the process that we did to provide the city with a system, it has been successful for both sides, the uh, Lonza people as well as the West Springfield um, Water Department. And we're very pleased that we could do it.